Alton you have watercolour brush marker refills and I'm going to show you how I paint with them. I'm so excited. Look at this. These are refills for the Alton U watercolour brush markers and you know how much I love playing with them. Now I can actually top them up with these liquid watercolours which is what they are. But there's so many different things that you can do with them and today I'm going to be doing some really simple painting and I've just got a little palette off to the side. Now you can't see my images. <laughs> I've already stamped them out and white heat embossed them on some Bristol Smooth cardstock and this is the beautiful peony stamp set and I've stamped out three the three floral images and also the three larger leaves that come in the set. So it doesn't get any easier than this. I basically chose some colours that I thought would work well together. It's warm sunshine, rouge and then a couple of greens which was lime and moss. I started by dropping some clean water into the like the wells of the white heat embossing and I know Bristol Smooth isn't actually a watercolour cardstock but seriously it really does hold up to quite a bit of water on it and that means that I can just drop the liquid watercolours in and allow them to mix. I started by adding the lighter colour which is the yellow here and then I just added the rouge and dropped it in to sort of where the centre of the petals will be so they'll be a little bit darker and then I mixed the colours a little bit with my brush. I probably didn't really need to but I wanted a couple of the flowers to be fairly pale and then um, I was pretty aware too that they're going to actually dry a little bit lighter than what they look when they were wet. But I did think it did. I did need a bold flower as well. So this flower, I did exactly the same technique, but I used more colour. By you can do this by either adding less water, or um, like I did here, I actually just I just used more of the rouge colour to make it darker. It's such a pretty combo. And the leaves when I was picking out the greens. I wasn't really sure. I did the two greens because I like to have that sort of variegated. The leaves aren't very big. I probably could have got away with just one of the greens itself because they are quite different in the tone of green but I think it worked fairly well. When I added the lime initially I was thinking it wasn't going to work and I could have easily started again and just stamped them out again but I know leaves often come in multiple colours like variegations. <laughs> So this is part of a hop and I have made three cards today to share so that I'm only sharing one full card here. I thought I would show you this panel that I created which is going to be on one of the cards if you link through to my blog and also if you link through to there you'll be able to um, have a chance to win if you are here in September 2019 and link up to all the other blog hops along the hop and see what else has been created because it's always heaps of fun. All right, so when I was getting inspiration on how to use these liquid watercolors, I came across a YouTube video that Jennifer McGuire had made and she had lots of different techniques and I thought this was a really fun one. So basically I'm just dropping color onto, this is Bristol Smooth again, and I could have probably dropped some directly onto the panel itself, but I did pick it out with my brush because actually the first color, the lightest green that I used here was the sweet leaf and it, or the mountain mist. It might have been the mountain mist. Look at the mess I'm making here. It was just too light and so that made me go and reach for the lagoon and once I added that darker sort of blue green color it really came to life. But look how much water I'm putting here on the Bristol Smooth and it tolerated it really well and I just flattened out the warping by running it through my Gemini Junior once it was dry. Once it was dry. And with no dyes or anything. <laughs> so don't forget to head to my blog and you can see what I did with that piece of cardstock. I think it's really pretty. All right so I have die cut my flowers using the coordinating dies 
and I've also white heat embossed a sentiment which is from the inked flora set with some antique gold embossing powder. I've created a panel for the front of my card and I used the Moonrock cardstock, splattered it with some antique gold ink spray and then it's just a matter of sort of creating my bouquet. I was initially going to use the three flowers but it was just a bit too much for me and usually I find that a combination of three looks better than two but today I just found the two flowers here was enough. I did add three leaves and a sentiment and I think it balanced out fairly well. My sentiment is vertical. It's going to confuse whoever I give this card to <laughs> but they'll have to get over that and I did just layer up with some foam tape to add some dimension to the final card. So I do hope you like this video. If you do, I'd uh, love it if you click the like button. If you haven't already, it would also be awesome if you'd subscribe to my channel and I'll be back again real soon with some more cards. Till then, happy paper crafting. Bye.